Well, right now I'm seated 180 yards from the yellow rectangle that you can see down there. It's a little smaller than a torso area, high center of mass, I guess you could say. And there is a Krylon paint can set up directly in front of it. Hoping for the wind to die down, but good luck on that, right? Anyway, the setup. We have here a Glock 19, very much empty, with a Griffin Optimus silencer that is presently set up for 9mm because otherwise your end cap becomes a little too small and uh, shooting 9mm through 22 wouldn't be a grand idea. I am using 147 grain Winchester Subsonic. These are old hollow points. I've had them around for goodness five, eight years. They're, they're old. So some of them might not work quite as well as others, but the goal is to make the shot from here out to that plate. I have 10, maybe I'm had more than 10 shots, but the goal is of course as few as possible and make it count. Previously, I did this shot without video and of course now that I have video rolling, I'm probably gonna screw up, so. We know how that goes, showing off, right? It does extend out there quite a bit, as that is a 21 round <laughs> mag pull. That's the P Mag 21 GL9. <laughs> okay, press check. Oh my goodness, end of the world there for those operators, right? Okay, safe direction. Confirm that there are no livestock or other critters in the line of fire and let's make the shot happen. Two hits, pathetic considering, but that's what I get for showing off on camera. Now we're going to walk down there and take a look see at those. This is going to get dizzying because I'm going to leave it on camera, otherwise no one's going to believe that I hit that thing in one count, right? That gets uh, reasonably warm. Pop 
the suppressor off. Let's go ahead and holster that and collect a few things here since I don't want to leave them and then have to walk back. One fell swoop and all that. Swoopy fell, fell swoop, I don't know. One of those, whoa, got a sling going there. Look at that. It's about to get wobbly. The trail down, of course. It's nice and treacherous. Slippy slidey. Watch your footing, right? Alrighty. That's one of those things where the shot hitting the steel makes a nice ring, but at this range, and I'm only recording with a phone, does it actually pick up? So gotta go check it the proper way. Now check that out. Nice shadow complete with the tripod because I'm lazy. Get as many things together in one piece as possible. Why disassemble it? Okay. Let's keep on a going. We got some definite dust throw on there. Here you can see the trails from my shots that went short. There's that. <laughs> Alrighty, well, I hit to the right there. That is a hole in the center. This is gonna get real wobbly as I unhook this. So, Let's see, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four hits. So, the sound doesn't return very well. Let's drop that to the side. So, sometimes I end up finding the rounds laying right here on the ground when I do this sort of stuff, and other times, not so much. Okay, let's come back to these trails over here where I have these lovely skid marks. Surprisingly, these are the ones that I tend to find the easiest. They leave a nice furrow in the ground. What do we have? Uh, dirt. Inevitably, I'll end up with something I don't want to grab my hands into, you know? That's a rock. If I don't like what I have here, I can always redo it, but I want to show everything in one frame. Nice furrow. Yeah. So back to the sound of the steel, that's the one thing at that kind of distance, it doesn't echo back and pick up on the phone or to where I'm sitting, especially in the wind all that well. And so we ended up with more hits than I thought we did. One, two, three, and number four. That was, that's pathetic. That's, that's a grazing hit considering, but hey, hit's a hit. So I'm not gonna complain too much, right? Well, anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye.